coming to this diagram, this was one of the key breakthroughs that I had when I tried to understand that time, there's no such thing as time management. There's no such thing as time management because time is a constant. Time is always going. Like we talk about energy. Energy has two equations uh, as far as I know. Energy, one is E equals HF. H is, a Planck's, is Planck's constant and F is a frequency. Frequency is one over time. Okay, so time is there, but time is a constant. Then you've got E equals MC squared. C squared is the speed of light. C is the speed of light, so speed is distance divided by time. Again, you've got one over time, or distance divided by time. Time is constant, the speed of light is constant. So, if time is constant, how can you manage something that is constantly ticking? Surely you must be managing something else, and this is, this is one of the breakthroughs that I had, which was managing your energy. When I realized that you actually have to, that you have to actually manage your energy, not time, it actually became very interesting. So, an example of this is, as the day goes on, as the week goes on, as the month goes on, or as the semester went on, you would start off at 100 and then it would decline to zero by the end. And so, energy, energy levels decline as the day goes on, as the week goes on, as the month goes on, as the semester goes on. And the key thing was this, the key thing was to match energy with the most energy consuming tasks. So, therefore to do the most important thing on Monday morning, for example. So, if there was something that would require a lot of energy, this is the concept of eating the big frog first. You would do that on Monday, on Monday morning. You'd, I would put that into my planner and I would do that on Monday morning. And similarly, you would do this for the month. Um, similarly, you, do, you would do this for a semester. And also, having authored a book now, when you're writing your book, same thing applies. When you're writing a book, you must schedule an hour, hour and a half each morning. Get it out of the way. This is how you complete your book. There's a lot of people that uh, dream, well, the dream of writing a book are dream authors. And the reason why they don't get around to completing a book or writing a book is because they are procrastinating. And they're procrastinating and they're not being, they're not able to manage the energy and time. They're not planning properly. And so the key, the other key thing that I realized actually was what if, what if rather than going down to 100, what if you could recharge back to, rather than going down to zero from 100, you could recharge back to 100. This was my key breakthrough that I realized that if I worked 90 minute slots or if I worked um, 50 minute slots, depending on what I was doing, if I was in the lab or whether I was doing some write up and I would take my evenings off, I would take my weekends off, I would take more holidays. I realized that my productivity was increasing. It wasn't going down, which was a strange thing because we're taught the more that you work, the harder you work, the more productive you get. But what I was finding was the opposite. I was finding that I, was, I had to work smarter, not harder. So after every 90 minutes, I would take a break and I would recharge. I would meditate or whatever and I would recharge to 100%. And what I would get was I would get a series of line of working at 100% efficiency or effectiveness. And the key is that you must earn, so you can't really apply this if you aren't intensive in your work. So you must earn your breaks. You can't just, you can't just, um, no, no, you can't just play hard if you're not going to work hard. Because the formula is that you work hard, play hard, and you rest hard. This is how it works. So. I hope this is shed, this will shed some light on to um, how you guys need to manage and structure your days as well.